everybody. Here we are at Dolatabad Fort. This fort ensured Deccan dominance. Whoever had this had the Deccan. Let's go and take a look inside and see why. Dolatabad Fort is 16 kilometers from Aurangabad. We traverse the outermost enclosure, Ambar Court, through the Rauza Darwaza. Dalatabad or Deogri was built by the Yadavs in the 11th century. It was added to and further extended by the Delhi Sultans at the end of the 13th century. The Deccan Sultanate, the Mughals and then the Asaf Jahis each left their distinctive mark over the next 500 years. It was famously the capital of India when Mohammed bin Tughlaq shifted here en masse from Delhi. The fortifications developed into four concentric rings. Amar Court, through which we have just traversed, Maha Court, the military enclosure, Kala Court for the nobles, and Bala Court, the innermost fortification. A major defensive feature is the single entrance to the Maha Court. Spikes on the massive wooden doors deter charging elephants. And the third one is a very important because of this led to a courtyard where troops could be massed. These artillery displays were guard rooms. It was designed to confuse and misdirect. On gaining the second gate, the enemy would be faced with this barbican. He would go left into a cul-de-sac. Retracing his path would lead to a false gate. Opposite is the concealed opening onto Bazaar Street inside Mahakot, the military enclosure. Bazaar Street is lined by ruined buildings and siphon towers. These maintain water pressure and level through terracotta pipes. Water management is a concern in every fort. Hathi Hod or the Elephant Bath is an internal reservoir 38 square meters and 6 meters deep. Jami Masjid, now Bharat Mata Mandir, was built in 1318 by Qutbuddin Mubarak Khilji of Delhi. The entrance is under this typical 15th century Bahmani dome. It is the largest congregational mosque in the Deccan. The arched portals create a visual break on the facade. Temple columns are skillfully reused in its construction. Inside, the column grid is broken up by this large dome in front of the mirab. It's a replica of Kutumna. Chand Minar soars 30 meters above the landscape to proclaim conquest of the Deccan in the 13th century. Its three circular balconies are supported by radiating brackets. There's a spiral staircase on the inside, but it's now off limits. The 17th century Amkhas Darwaza is the entrance to Emperor Aurangzeb's palace complex. It is under renovation, as also the Bahmani and Nizam Shahi palaces, that we hope to see some other time. This piece of bronze artillery is imported from the Netherlands. The breach inscription indicates it was cast in 1642 at Amsterdam. VOC is Dutch United East India Company.
The side galleries have artifacts from the Yadav era, Maheshasur Mardani, a column of musicians, and Narsiman. This is the only entrance to Kalakot, the exclusive royal compound. It is protected by these massive towers. This tiny opening was for passing messages when the gate was closed. A step path climbs through the guard room, besides which is a small mosque. Built between 1332 and 1333 by the Delhi Sultans, this mosque has no domes. Reused temple columns with square and octagonal shafts were incorporated into its construction. At those times, I multi-use this. After hazarding another gate, past huge stone water jars, we see Chini Mahal. Aurangzeb used this building as a prison for the last sultans of Bijapur and Golconda, Sikandar Shah and Abul Hasan Qutub Shah. They died here in captivity. The structure is now crumbling and cordoned off. Those blue glazed ceramic tiles give this building its name. Love that precise wedge of keystone arch. On a high cavalier is Menda Top. It gets its name from this ram-headed cascabel and belonged to Aurangzeb. It was named Top Kila Shikan, the breaker of forts. Note the intricate floral motif on the surface. This carved wall of rock plunging into the moat is the focus of Dolatabad. By cutting the hard basalt, the Yadavs created an impregnable fort. To get to Balakot at the top of the hill, you have to traverse the Andheri, a dark passage of interconnected caves carved out of solid basalt. Mm. The architect used darkness. through which the enemy was forced to negotiate a labyrinth of passages and diversions to reach the top, which we shall bring to you in a subsequent video. So this was the impregnable Dalatabad fort, a stronghold of the Tekken for 700 years. We hope you like traveling with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.